Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm showing you how I did this beautiful spring set. I've already prepped and primed and done everything I need to do before the acrylic application. So I'm going in on the pinky with Glam and Glitz Gabrielle and I'm applying that just at the tip and blending that down towards the cuticle because I am going to be doing an ombre nail on this nail. I'm also going to be doing ombre on the index finger and also the thumb. When you're working with Glam and Glitz it is quite a wet system so you do need to you do need to work quite wet you can drain the back of your bead a little bit but you do want to work quite wet with this one so it does take some getting used to but once you've got the hang to it it's absolutely amazing I love glam and glitz products I've just ordered some more so yeah then I'm just gonna go on to the index finger and the thumb and do the same thing Going back to the pinky finger now, I am going in with Nao Nails Shell and this is a cover pink acrylic. Usually I would use CJP and more but I've run out and this was the closest colour I had. But I do actually really like this colour, it's really good coverage um, Yeah, and it's just it's really nice to work with. So I'm just applying that at the cuticle area and then blending that up over that colour that we've already applied. And then I'll go ahead and do this on the other two fingers as well. Moving on to the middle finger now, I'm going to be doing a marble effect and for this I am using Glam & Glitz Gabrielle, CJP Snow White and also the Nao Nails Amour and I just apply a wet bead of each of those onto the nail and then I just using the tip of my brush, I just drag those around and create the marble effect and then I'll pat them down into place to sort of get them to all blend into each other. You don't want to drag these colours towards the free edge when you're doing a marble because that would just ruin the whole marble look. So just make sure you're patting it and not dragging.
ring finger I'm going in with some white iridescent glitter. I'm not sure what this one is because as you will know I put all my glitters into different pots and I've lost all of the bags that actually say what they're called. So this is just a white iridescent glitter. I think I probably got this one off of eBay, I'm not sure. But I'm just applying that using, bless you, using a blip of clear acrylic. And I just pick up a bead of clear acrylic and then dip that bead into the glitter, place that on the nail. Then I go back and cap the marble nail and also cap the ombre nails as well and then I will go ahead and cap the ring finger nail. Once I was happy with those and they were all set, I then went in and filed using a 100 grit file around the free edge to get the shape, then filed the cuticle area and then the surface of the nail, and then I buffed with a white buffing block. Then I go over the nails with a lint-free wipe with a little bit of acetone on it just to get rid of the dust and it will also remove any scratches off the nail and leave that nice and smooth and then I'm going in here with CJP top gloss and I'll cure that in my UV lamp for two minutes. finish off the nails I'm going in with some cuticle oil and this is Nail Nails Passion Fruit. It smells amazing. And yeah, that's it. All done. So I hope you like this tutorial guys. If you did, don't get, forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to click subscribe. And if there's anything that you want me to do a tutorial, just leave me a comment and let me know. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.